Okay, let's try and cram this into three minutes. So, iPad 7th generation with the notorious CPU failure. So, as you can see, we're just getting rid of all the black underfill around the CPU. I've got the hot air set at about 270 degrees for this. Here, I'll just get some flux on these three components. So we can use this as an entry point to lift the CPU. When I lifted the CPU, I used 450 degrees. And now we'll just use some low melt to dilute all this solder. And then with the braid, keeping on a nice 270 degree hot air, we can clean all the solder pads without pulling any pads. Very, very carefully. With all the glue removed, now we can move on to the CPU. Here, I'm mixing some low melt solder paste into the all the balls, so it's nice and easy to work with. And then while blasting it still with 270 degrees, we can scrape away at the black underfill and the solder balls should nicely move around. Them four little capacitors that are on the CPU chip I will not be replacing. Don't hate me. So once we can get it clean, loads of flux and some uh, braid with uh, the hot air should hopefully get them CPU, uh, them balls, them pads nice and clear. Then what we'll do once it's all nice and clear and we're happy with that, we can put some UV mask on the uh, capacitor areas because we don't want them causing us any problems down the line and now with the solder paste 183 degree solder paste into my jig and get all them balls all nicely done once the um all into nice little balls then we'll put the flux on and make sure everything's all where it should be get rid of any loose debris so we'll put them little components back on the board, the two capacitors and one resistor. And then a light dousing of flux and we'll sync that CPU back onto the board. And then when we try to reflash it, jobs are good.